Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see what's going on with you guys' money, um, what's going on with your career, your business, your finances itself. Let's see what's going on, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what, what's your God, what you guys' overall energy is when it comes to your money, when it comes to your finances. Show me spirit. We have the Queen of Wands. Hmm. It's like I, it's like I'm it's like I'm hearing burning burning the clock like burn it's like there's a burning energy like your feet is burning like with that queen of wands Eris Leo Sagittarius energy that queen of wands actually came out in the reverse and I feel like for a lot of you guys it's like burning the midnight hours like busy like juggling a whole bunch of things um but the, but what I'm getting here in this energy is like even though like a lot of you guys, you're doing all of this, you're doing so much different things. There's so many different things that you guys are doing. Um, with the magician at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, Virgo energy, I feel like there is, I don't, I don't want to say a lack of confidence, but like a sibilance of not quite too sure. Like, yes, you're manifesting. Yes, you're working. Yes, you're talented. Yes, you have some very significant skills. But I feel like right now, present moment, there's kind of like an overall energy of not, not feeling quite yourself, not feeling like you're doing enough or you can do enough, not sure, not sure how to make, it's like, it's like something just like, it's just the same way I'm talking and the same way I'm thinking. It's like, it's, it's at the tip of your finger, but it's like, you can't quite touch it, can't quite feel it, can't quite see the end of the road. There's a big, big energy for you guys right now, present moment. Like not really and truly quite, quite yet, truly seeing the end of the road. I feel like a lot of you guys, you're working on something right now, present moment that needs more attention. I mean, I'm hearing like more like plowing, like it's plow, it's like plowing dirt to, to, to bring in a harvest. And it's like, I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy here of you're continuously plowing, but it's like, it's not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. That's really and truly what I'm getting. But you are extremely, your will, your willpower is strong. You're not giving up, but still sometimes it's kind of like a pause. You're not giving up, but it's still kind of like a pause right now, present moment. What's the current challenge for my Virgos with their money and their finances? The tower. For some of you guys, you could have some unexpected bills, like unexpected things that you had to devote time and energy into, time, your resources into. Something unexpected has happened in your life. The sun, and it's it's like something bubbling up to the surface. For some of you guys, there you could have actually truly experienced like some type of health issue, whereas it took finances from you. For some of you guys, this could have been like, there's, there's an upheaval in your life. Something has been your core, the core of your life has been kind of shaken. So it, it has been affecting your finances. It's been affecting your career, your work, your business. Um, I'm definitely getting like a shortage of resources. Like, and it, it wasn't always like that. It's not going to always be like that. But I feel like right now, present moment, there's kind of like a breaking down of your financial stability within your career, within your work, within your business. There's like something like kind of like breaking down here right now, present moment. Show me spirit. What's the current energy? Ace of Cups. 
page of pentacles with the knight of pentacles okay okay so your overall energy we have the queen of wands the queen of wands is normally someone here that's a go-getter the queen of wands is someone here that is vivacious someone here that's a boss someone here that truly goes after what they want for some of you guys right now present moment it just feels like it's just not you can't really and truly see the light at the end of the tunnel or you have it for some of you guys, there's a the, the, your your conflict right now is unexpectedness. I feel like there's been a lot of unexpected ex, um, expense expensives. <laughs> I'm like I'm like I lost the word, and I'm like okay, hold on, what's going on here? Like there's like been some unexpected expenses. For some of you guys, there's been a shortage of resources, or like just kind of like truly like you know that you're working, you know that you're working, you know that you're plowing the grounds. But it's like, okay, but you want to see the fruits of your labor. You feel like, some of you guys, you may feel like there should be more as we see 555 five, five on the clock. I do see right now, present moment, there is something that you guys are working towards, but it hasn't quite, it hasn't quite, like I said, you, like it hasn't quite like, like you've been feeding into this. It hasn't quite manifested. It hasn't quite like, came to fruition for you like really and truly that's kind of what i'm getting here in this energy with the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles the possibilities and the opportunities of building something like laying a solid foundation making money building some type of abundant life that possibility is there but right now present moment i feel like for some of you guys it's like kind of like not really and truly seeing the light at the end of the tunnel but kind of like how do i get out of this posture i know i will come out of this this posture but there's like kind of like a some of you guys really and truly right now, present moment, you could truly be like overspending, like absolutely in a sense for some of you guys, not all of you guys, but like, I just feel like I, I feel this. I think I picked this energy up the other day and it's in you guys kind of using it, using your money before it's like counting your money before it's even come. Like counting your eggs before they actually hatch. Counting your like ducklings before it actually hatched. Like you're like, oh, I'm gonna have seven babies, but you know, not all babies may survive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of so something like that. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting here in this energy. Like for some of you guys, it's like counting it before you even have it, spending it before you even have it. And yes, you know, and the thing about it is what you weren't prepared for, what you're not prepared for is unexpected expenses, unexpected events to happen in your life that's going to kind of take away from your your abundance take away from your lifestyle like there's something here that's taking away but with that ace of cups here this is telling me like this is like new opportunity something that you're you're going to newly be pouring your time and energy into that's what you're doing right now present moment but with that knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles they both came out in the reverse um when i use this deck i tend to not like to really and truly do reversals because i this is just a feeling i get with this deck but I'm just going to tell you guys that it came out in the reverse because I feel like you guys have been working towards something and it's there. It's there. It's something present right now, present in your life. But you you haven't quite seen the fruits of your labor. You haven't quite gotten the return that you want as of yet. But I do see you guys still being diligent. You're still working extremely hard. Um, some of you guys could actually choose to go back to school or further your education to learn more, to get better at what this is. The love that you have right now, present moment, in your work, in your career, in your your, your financial life itself. There's there's a new spark here. There's something that you actually, that, that has your interest, has stirred your interest. And I feel like I see, it's like, I see the diligence. I see the hard work. I see what's, what it's gonna take, but it is gonna take that. It is gonna take that. If you're wanting to make things better for yourself, better for your family, however this goes, it's going to take some hard work. It's gonna take some diligence. Some of you guys, you may truly have to go back to school. Um, or for some of you guys, you're good with your hands. I'm definitely getting like kind of good with your hands. For some of you guys, there is gonna be somebody here that's gonna come into your energy and they're gonna give you some money. Like there's a gift here coming in for some of you guys. Like somebody's going to pour into you. I feel like for some of you guys, you could really and truly work with your hands and whatever this is, whatever you're producing, it actually is going to bring bring about something, some type of abundance here. There's some type of abundance that is actually going to bring about. 
That's a real big energy. And I feel like right now, present moment, because your overall energy is this queen of wands. Some of you guys, you may doubt that it's going to come about, or you may doubt that this is you're on the right path. But what I'm seeing here is that you are. But I do see your conflict being so many unexpected things happening. These are these are things that, that are happening. For some of you guys, this is a relationship that, that you're kind of moving into a di different direction. You, if you could have a relationship with, it's changing your relationship. A relationship, yes, with a person, but you know, relationships, you have a relationship with anything. So it's a, you can have a relationship within your work, within your career, a relationship within your finances, a relationship with what you see of value in life. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's something unexpected that's going to happen that's going to kind of change that relationship dynamic for you with your finances, with your resources, with your work, with your career, with your money, with your business. There's going to be some type of change here. I see the diligence. I do see the diligence. And you do have an opportunity of making things better. It's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of studying. A lot of hard work, a lot of studying to overcome this. Yeah. Yeah. Give me near future. The will of fortune. Look at that. Some good luck. Some of you guys, it's like a turnaround. Some of you guys, you're going to be redirected. Four of wands. Look at that. See, there's a real big energy. Something's going to turn you guys around into the right direction. There's going to be a turnaround into the right direction. Give me a sec. There's definitely going to be a turnaround for you guys. A turn of luck is what I'm hearing. Like there's going to be a turn of luck in the very near future when it comes to your finances. With the four of wands here, it talks about stability. It talks about your foundation. So this is actually some really good energy. These are building blocks. This is saying that good luck is on your side, your finances, your career, the things that you, you're working on. I feel like you guys are going to be redirected into the right direction. You may have made the wrong turn at some point in time or your GPS may have sent you into a different direction because it kind of they had some type of kink in the system. I'm getting like a kink in the system, but I feel like you guys will be redirected and I do see money coming in for you guys. It is definitely by your hands. It is definitely by what you produce. This is something, this is a service you produce. This is an object that you produce. This is a skill set that you produce. Wherever this money is coming from, it is by your own hands. It is something that you yourself it is something that you yourself, you're working towards. You yourself, you're bringing this into fruition. Yeah. Show me this queen of wands. Show me this queen of wands. False person. And you see what I'm getting like for some of you guys, you really and truly could be living beyond your means right now, present moment. Like for some of you guys, I, I'm, I definitely picked up this energy like... Your overall energy is like kind of for some, and I'm definitely dealing with my Virgos that were born in August, like, like kind of living beyond your means. There's a real, real big energy. Like, hmm. And for some of you guys, there's somebody else in your energy that is only in your energy to get what they can get from you in terms of your resources, in terms of your abundance, in terms of your money. That's a real big energy. Show me the tower. Show me the tower. Child. For some of you guys, there's something unexpected that has happened with a child. Like there's something so unexpected. And that's, take, that's taking you guys for a toll. For some of you guys, I'm also getting like even like something unexpected happened it could be with it with a child like yeah i'm not i feel like i feel like this is definitely not to do with your childhood though i don't feel like this has to do with your childhood because in my head i'm like okay yes we can say that but really and truly what i'm getting is like because then that would be a ripple effect you know your current challenge right now present moment is the tower and that's like your world being shaken and I feel like for some of you guys, this, this definitely has to do with a child. I'm also getting like a younger sibling, like something so unexpected happening. And it kind of changes, changes, the, changes your situation. It kind of changes your situation. Show me this Ace of Cups. 
occupation. Look at that. Some of you guys are getting a new job that you like. See that right now, present moment? Some of you guys, you could have actually gotten a new job that you like. Some of you guys, you definitely could have gotten a new job that you like or you're getting a new job, a new occupation. Yeah, show me this Knight of Pentacles. Great fortune. See, you have money. There is money coming in. And for some of you guys, like there's something here that you yourself, you've been diligently working on. And now it's starting to, now it's starting to give you what you need. Like it's starting, you, the return, there is a return, but there's more of a return that's coming in. Like there's, there's so much more of a return that's coming in for you guys. Yeah. Show me this page of pentacles. Sudden wealth. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like y'all have some serious, serious money coming in. A serious, serious opportunity coming in. For some of you guys, this could be a new work, a new job, a new career, a new occupation, a new business. But look at that. It's bringing in so much. It's bringing in so much. And it's like, it's, it's for some of you guys, you may actually win. Like if you gamble, if you go to the casino or something like that, or if you buy a lottery ticket or something like that, you may actually win. And like all of a sudden, it changes it changes the, the trajectory of your life, the course of your life. I really love that energy for you guys. I'm definitely getting September 11th, August 26th. I have August 8th and September 18th. Show me this Wheel of Fortune. Bad health. There's going to be a change. If you, if some of you guys have been experiencing some bad health, some health, some of you guys, that could be your tower moment, your challenge, whereas unexpected expenses medical bills or anything of the sort but look at that we have bad health so for some of you guys look at that with the will of fortune there's going to be a turnaround you're going to be redirected you're going to be redirected and things are going to get better you're going to be redirected and things will get better show me this four of wands distant horizon so you have a relationship that's 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 approaching this is your near future as i saw 17 17 on the clock this is your near future you're going to be overcoming if you've had some financial difficulties if you've had some health issues if you've had some just issues itself fairly re, fairly soon i can't even talk fairly soon there's going to be a change there's going to be the course there's like you're going to be redirected there's a redirection that's going to happen in your life expectations this is about you waiting watch and wait there's a real, real big energy of you guys kind of watching and waiting because there's going to definitely be a change. There's going to be a change in the trajectory, a change in your circumstances. Yeah, that's a real big energy. Show me spirit. Show me what it is I need to see for my Virgo's work, career, money, finances. Show me. Release jealousy. Earlier today, I saw that card. It's, it's almost like being envious. There's no need to be envious because you're going to, you're going to surpass. There's a surpass here. You're going to surpass the difficulties. It says release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let others, let, let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. It if they can, if they can have it, so can you. So, yes, this is about you kind of releasing the notion that you can't have what it is that you really and truly want. For some of you guys, you may have truly been experiencing some difficulties in getting the things that you want, but they are going to manifest into your life. And then we have deservingness. You are a beloved child of God, like everyone else. And you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing, amazing you truly are. Yeah, you're deserving of this blessing that's coming in. You're absolutely deserving of this blessing that's coming in for you guys. And it could be in the way of, of course, a promotion, but it could be in a way of something new, like a new job, a new job offer, a new career, new work. 
but it's going to bring in great money even if you're doing your own things because i feel like for a lot of you guys it has to do whatever you're producing you're producing this like you're inventing this there's a thing here and it's like that in itself is what's going to bring in a great fortune a great abundance and then we have cooperation instead of competition what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you there's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all you have complete access to unlimited abundance in yourself for yourself and to share with others with cooperative partnerships you can accomplish anything you see that? So I feel like your spirit guides are wanting you guys, like saying, like, okay, you're going to work, like, you're going to work well, you're going to mesh well, like, but th this is like not competing. You're not competing. Like, we all, it's like the market is big enough to where everybody can succeed. Everybody can make money in it. That's kind of the overall energy and what this is that you guys are dealing with. Oh, and I forgot. I didn't see another card. It says declutter. You'll feel better and more focused if you'll take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. So your spirit guides want you guys to kind of declutter your life. I'm getting like your workspace, your desk itself. There's a need for you to clean up. There's a need for you to finalize some things. Dot your I's, cross your T's. That's a real, real big energy. All right, my loves, if any of this resonates, if you appreciate the video, do hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.